Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. We have a simple project to do today. And if you sew to sell, I think this one will be a great one for your markets or shops. So all we need is a piece of fabric from the full width of your bolt. So we're working with about 110 to 112 centimetres or 42 to 44 inches. I've just cut the fabric off the bolt and we're using the full length. I've also been racking my brains to find something to make that I want to use every day with this maple leaf fabric that I received from Lucky in Canada not so long ago. So I'm going to make myself a kitchen boa for me and with the extra fabric I'll probably make some pot holders. So today we are going to use one tea towel cut in half and one piece of fabric. No zips, no velcro, nothing. Come along and we'll do this quick project. So here's what we need. We've got one tea towel. This one here measures 70 by 40 centimetres or 27 and a half by 16 inches. Your tea towel can be any size you like and if you like you can actually use a hand towel. You can use two face washers, uh, a big hand towel, cut that in half, even a bath towel cut in half. So they can be any size that you like. One tea towel and one piece of fabric. We want the whole width of the fabric. I'm using quilting cotton here. And this piece is 33 centimetres by 112 centimetres or 13 by 44 inches. And that's all we need. So what we're going to do with our tea towel is fold it in half and we'll just mark the center. Place a clip on the center there and all we need to do is cut straight along there. Once you've cut along the center you'll have two half tea towels then all we need to do is a little bit of folding. Set one aside. Find the wrong side of your fabric. So this is where the seams have been folded up and we're going to fold that in half, find the center, and then fold that out. And from the center, we're going to measure out 10 centimeters or four inches. And I'm just going to mark that with a pin on either side. And this pin here needs to come to the center. Remember, we've got the wrong side facing up. Pinch the toweling and bring that over until this pin sits on top of the other pin. Reposition that and then just pin those layers together. And we'll do the same with this side. Bring that over to the center. Line up those raw edges at the top. And if we flip it over, this is how it looks. So we've folded the front section over and what we have at the moment is a measurement of about 20 centimetres or 8 inches. A finished kitchen boa is going to be about 6 inches or 15 centimetres but we won't be doing these folds just yet. Take the main fabric and I've cut the salvages off the bottom. Fold that in half. And I'll just take a little nick out of the bottom and we have the center of our fabric marked there on both ends. Place your fabric right side up and your tea towel right side down. We're going to line up the raw edge of your fabric with the raw edge of your towel and find that center and match that up and pin that together. And we'll repeat that for the other end of the fabric as well. So once you've done both ends of your fabric we can take this to the machine and we're going to use a one centimeter or five eighths inch seam allowance and sew the towel right across the bottom edges. Let's go do that now. I'm going to start sewing at the edge of the towel, back stitch at the beginning and over at the other end. When we get to the end we'll back stitch again and you'll have noticed that I've used my screwdriver to help me keep the fabric down whilst sewing because it's a toweling fabric it's going to shift as I'm going along so it was just to try and help prevent a lot of that happening but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter if it does shift. 
This is a very forgiving project and it's going to look good regardless. So I've got the other side lined up and I'll do the same. And just like that, we're almost finished. This is a great project in that you don't need to be an experienced sewer to be able to make these boas. Separate that from the fabric and fold this section up by the seam allowance that you have. So with me, I'm using the one centimeter. If you wanted to use one and a half centimeters or half an inch, you can. It really doesn't matter what you use, as long as you're consistent. And by not folding these outside edges in, means that we can actually make this any size we like as well. So I folded that edge over. We'll top stitch this shortly, but first of all, we're going to close up the long edges. Fold the hem over on the other side as well. And now what we can do is fold the long edges together of the fabric. We can start down this end, open out that fold and just start lining this up. You don't even need to go and use pins or clips. You can take it straight to the machine and sew down that long edge. Line up the other end. Okay, so we're going to start with a back stitch all the way to the other end and back stitch down there as well. You don't have to worry about leaving an opening because we still have our openings at both ends of the tea towel. Let's take this back to the machine. And again, I'll back stitch at the beginning and do my one centimetre seam allowance all the way to the other side. This is a ridiculously easy project. You could whip a bunch of these up in the morning and have them ready to sell by the afternoon. They're that quick to do. Now that we've sewn that long edge closed, we're going to get ready to turn this the right way around. But we need to press the seam. And I'm just going to give that a quick press. And then I'm going to separate the seam here and press that all the way along. So by pressing the seam open here, that's going to help us keep a nice flat seam when we turn this the right way around. Flip it over. And the other seam that we haven't folded back yet, we're going to do that. Okay, with the seams pressed open, we can now turn it the right way around. So just stick your arm in there, find the other end. Grab the towel and bring that through. And having pressed those seams open before we've turned it through, it made it a lot easier for us to have nice flat seams along here. So we'll go and give this a press. We want this in the center. So you line up the center seam with the center of your tea towel and bring that seam allowance fold over that stitching line that you did along here earlier. You can see that the edges of the tea towel here have folded in. And it's not really even. I've got more on one side than I have on the other. That's because when I sewed it, it shifted. But when you have a look on the other side, you've got the nice fold here and the outside edges folded underneath. And it looks fine. So what we need to do now with the center in position here, we're going to go along and top stitch this section here. And I'll top stitch from the front. 
and we'll do the same at this end. So you fold that seam allowance under, match up the centre seam with the centre of your towel and we'll sew that in place as well. I'll move the pin to the other side otherwise I'm going to sew straight over it. So it's really, the pin's really just to keep the fabric lined up here. So let's take that back to the machine and we will top stitch both ends. And then apart from ironing it, it will be completely finished. So the top stitch that I'm doing is about three millimeters from the edge or one eighth of an inch. And we'll do the same for the other end. Okay, this is completely finished. I have gone and pressed it so that the seam is in the center. The top stitching is done at both sides. Now you can leave this exactly as it is with the thick band all the way along, but I think what's going to look nice is if I flip this upside down, bring the seam to the front and find the center of the fabric, bring the towel ends together, line up the fabric there and I'll just mark the center here and then you can open that out again, bring the folded edge into the center and this side as well and all I'm going to do is sew straight down here and that will secure the center section around the back of the neck. I think it'll sit much better around the neck than it will when you have the wider piece of fabric. So this is completely optional and I'm just going to quickly go and sew this now. So there's the neck section sewn together and I think that'll just help that sit much nicer. I've also popped a label on the front and it's ready to sell. There we have our finished tea towel boa. So with the fabric folded over on the back of the neck, it forms a nice pleat and brings the fabric around down the front nicely and then it'll just fan out. So there we go, a very quick project. I've also gone and made one using the fabric that Lucky sent me. I'm pleased that I've made something with the fabric that I'm going to use almost every day. So that's fantastic. There's a little bit of extra fabric left over, so I'm going to make some pot holders to match this. It's an incredibly easy project to make. I've put the timer on when I made the second one and to do one only took me about 18 and a half minutes. So that's three an hour that I could easily make. And if I was doing them as a batch sewing uh, project, I'd probably be able to get almost four done an hour. I'm going to make a few of these and sell them in the shop. Not this one, obviously, this is a keeper, but I'm going to make a few of these. I'll get some more tea towels. Uh, the pricing for it, is roughly a third of a yard of fabric or a, th or a third of a meter of fabric, which if you're buying the fabric new is roughly about $6 in Australia. Tea towels, depends on the quality of the towel that you get. This one works out to be about $2 per tea towel. So remember I've cut this one in half. So that's $8 worth of product. And then about 20 minutes of my time. My time is priced out at $45 an hour. So that'll be $15 worth of labor. That works out to be $23 for a kitchen boa. And I'm going to price these out at $25 each. I think they'll sell well at $25. Remember that my hanging tea towels, I sell for $15 each. They're much more complicated to make. So these ones are going to be much quicker. Uh, they do use a little bit of extra fabric and more tea towels. I think they'll be a fantastic seller. And if I can get some pot holders made to match, then that'll be a really nice gift idea as well. I forgot to mention that I did receive an email yesterday about uh, the possibility of making these towels. So I've got onto it straight away because I needed something really quick to sew. I haven't got the latest details with me, so I do apologize for that. Thanks so much for asking me to do this. It was a really nice quick project to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now. Ha, ha, ha.